Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today we got Royal Paladin content. So today um, is MLB, which has surprisingly been very popular and demanded recently for a deck profile for this for a premium format. So here it is, and I'm going to be showing you right now. So the starter, we're doing V-series starters, so Glime or Barkle or whichever one you want, doesn't really matter, but uh, we're doing the one where it's on ride draw, so that's the one we want. It also gets you a quick shield, which is really cool. So now we're just going to jump right into the grade threes. We got four copies of Majesty Lord Blaster. So MLB's skill is Continuous Vanner Rear. If you have Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark in your soul, it gets a crit. And if this is on the Vanguard Circle, it gets 5k and an extra drive check. So that's including during your opponent's turn. So it's an 18k wall. Really nice. Uh, the other skill is when it attacks, you choose two of your rearguards and you put them into your soul. And you get two imaginary gift force. So this is definitely a force one deck. Because you're just going to be stacking a bunch of force markers over the same unit over and over and over again. The goal is to hopefully do that with Blaster Blade. And have Blaster Blade with like three or four force markers and then keep on restanding it with Floral Paladin Flogal. You kind of get the idea. Uh, what's cool is that you can also copy the skill with Crystal Lancer. So then you have a G unit with the exact same skill. So the whole goal of the deck is to copy MLB. So for the other grade threes in the deck, I'm actually running three copies of Alfred Early. So why three copies of Alfred Early, you may ask? Well. Two reasons. One is that you can still write it after your MLB turn to call out a Blaster Blade from the soul. The Blaster Blade gets 10k, you get to draw a card, and then you can stride afterwards. And then, you know, since you have an Alfred Vanguard, you get to search out uh, Blaster Javelin LaRouche to get you more Floral Paladin Flogals. So there, there's still some extended plays you can make to kind of push for turn. It's a grade three, so it's stride fodder. And also, but most importantly, if your Vanguard is stunned because of a Gridora G unit, which becomes a, which will become a popular deck after DBT03 comes out, you can still re-ride and pull out Blast Blade from the soul so that you have more units to attack with. So that's why. Um, but yeah, Alfred Early Skills, basically when it's placed in the Vanguard Circle, you kind of blast one. You pick a Blaster Blade from your hand or your soul, you call it to rear, it gets 10k. And then if you called, you get to draw a card. So it's a nice on-ride skill. So you ride it, and then you stride. So that, that's kind of the goal of the card. Uh, and then lastly, for grade threes, I'm doing three copies of Innocence Ray Dragon. This is the Heal Guardian that came out in V... Uh, clan collection. So its skill is when it's placed on the Guardian Circle. If you didn't ride to grade 2 yet, uh, you can either give your Vanguard 10k for the turn, or you reduce the crit of an opponent's attacking unit by 2. So it's good for preventing your opponent from being early aggressive against you before you ride to grade 3. So that's nice. Um, using its super early game is also nice, just so that you can kind of, you know, Preventing yourself from getting super early damage while you're at grade 1 and 2. The second skill is also when it's placed on the rear guard circle. If you don't have any damage, you can put the top card of your deck face up into your damage zone. So it prevents damage denial. I'm only running 3 because my fourth heal is a grade 0 heal. And I'll get into that later once we get to the, tr the rest of the triggers. But for now, that's it for the grade 3s. We're on to the grade 2s. The star of the show, Blaster Blade. So Blaster Blade's Vanguard skill is if you have four rear guards, it gets a crit. The second skill is Van or Rear. When you call it or place it, you count a bless one, soul bless one, choose a front row rear guard in your opponent's field, and retire it. Like, it, you know, Blast Blade always does some retiring stuff, but that's not really what we're doing it for. We're really doing it more for the 10k base, and it's named as Blaster Blade. Ideally, I would be running the vanilla Blaster Blade, the promo, because then we would be running um, Cycloned, and we would use Cyclone as flip fodder and make all of our Blaster Blades 15k beat sticks. That would be ideal. Uh, problem is, um, I, I just don't want to spend like $30 <laughs> on Blaster Blades. So, But if you have the 
promo blaster blades without any skills, I'd say use those. I think those are better. But for now, we'll just use the ones with skills on them. So next up, we've got four copies of Absolute Blade Knight LaRouche. I was using, uh, what's it called? Star, Starlight Violinist. I think that's what it's called. The OG one, not the V-Series one, because you could use it during the battle phase. Um, I'm actually starting to like this better just because it doesn't cost a soul unless you have all face down damage and it helps you set up your main phase way better. So LaRouche's skill, when it's placed from hand, you kind of blast one, you search your deck for a grade two, and you call it to oh, an open rear guard circle, and if you don't have a face up uh, card in your damage zone, you can use a soul blast instead. So I'm running four just because you can use it on ride, uh, and you can call it, just ride or call. So it's to help you search out Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark so you can suck them in for MLB. You can also search out, uh, you know, the other grade twos, Blaster Javelin LaRouche, Favorite Pupil Lou. It's just a very versatile card, so just being able to have it in hand is nice. It sucks it only works when it's called from hand, so you can't, you know, do it when you call it from uh, Geo units like Twin Sword. But just for setting up the main phase for that Crystal Lancer turn, it is nice. And also Crystal Lancer likes it when you have a bunch of grade twos on the field for its GB3. So just having it on the field doesn't hurt. Next up for grade twos, we do need Blaster Dark. So I'm running three copies of Blaster Dark. Uh, it doesn't really matter in premium which one you use. You can use the one that says it's a Royal Paladin or you could use a straight up Shadow Paladin one. It doesn't really matter just because premium rules says you can use any blaster dark you want um so the skill of blaster dark is van or rear when it's uh placed you can kind of blast one and your opponent chooses a rear guard to retire the second skill is if it's on the vanguard circle and your opponent has no rear guards you can discard a card and your vanguard gets twin drive so it's a really good ride target um if your opponent doesn't have a board you know just twin drive easy uh, and if you kind of blast for the retire, you can kill off four runners if you want, because your opponent has to choose a rear guard, and if they have nothing else, they have to kill the four runner. And after you kind of blast, you can use LaRouche to search out another grade two. So th there's some there's some really consistent plays going on. I'm only running three just because once you have Blaster Dark in the soul, you're pretty much set. You don't really need more Blaster Darks as beat sticks. I just run three for the consistency, so I have one to ride. And if I don't write it, I have more targets in my deck to search. I just feel like if I'm running two and one goes to damage and like one uh, ends up being soul blasted for some other reason that I need for a soul, I don't feel like, oh no, I need more blaster dark. So three, three seems to be fine for the most part. So next up, three copies of favorite pupil of light and dark, Lou. So Lou's skill is... Um, when it's boosted by Blaster Friend Barkle or Floral Pout and Flogel, it gets 3k and a skill. The skill continues to, at the end of the battle that it attacked, you kind of blast one, put this into the soul, and you search your deck for a grade two with Blaster in its name. It's just any grade two with Blaster, so it's pretty cool. And the called unit gets 3k, so you can use it to search out Blaster Blade if for Floral Paladin plays, search out Blaster Dark if you need it for MLB, search out Blaster Javelin LaRouche, if your Vanguard has Alfred in its name, so you could search out more Floral Pound and Flogels, so a lot of searching going on here. So you can use, you can even, if you want, just do Livero into Lou, uh, Lou, and Lou gets you something else later during the battle phase. So it's a lot of toolboxing going on with this deck. And last but not least, I am running two copies of Swordsman of Light Blaster Javelin LaRouche. So reason I'm running Blaster Javelin LaRouche is because uh, it searches out Floral Pout and Flogel for the most part. Uh, there are other high beasts. I'm pretty sure all the grade ones in this deck are high beasts uh, except for the PG, but you're not really wanting to search out the grade ones, but it's there if you want to, if you just want to deck thin and pull out some non-triggers just to fill a board. If you have a Vanguard with Alfred, you can do that. Um, so what the skill of LaRouche, LaRouche is, is when it's placed, you put two cards from your hand into the soul, and then you search your deck for two high beasts and you call them to open rear guard circles. So keyword is open rear guard circles, so make sure you have the space. Um, but it's just when it's placed, so you can use 
Lou or Livero or G units to search it out, but you have to have a Vanguard with Alfred in its name, but that's also really doable since we're running three Alfred earlies and we have G units with Alfred in their name. So two LaRouche seems to work fine for me. So that's it for grade twos. We're on to the grade ones and we're on the upgraded version of Wingle Youth, uh, which is Wingle Brave, the V series version. So Wingle Brave's skill is Vanner Rear when the attack that it boosts or attacks hits a Vanguard. So just when it boosts or just when it's just doing stuff. Uh, after it hits a Vanguard, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, search for up to one card with Blaster in its name, and you add it to your hand. And you don't have to move it to Soul afterwards. It just stays on the board. So that's really cool. So ideal right target if you're going second so that when it swings, your opponent will most likely let it hit so they have damage. You get your drive check, you look at top seven, you add any blaster you're looking for. So MLB, Blaster Blade, Blaster Dark, etc. So it's just a really good versatile card. Um, it works if you make a column, so you can just like attack with Van, attack with Booster, and if it hits, you do the skill twice. So it's just a really good on ride card and a good booster really early game. So definitely recommend four copies of this one. Next up, we got four more doggos. It's Blaster Friend Barkle. So Blaster Friend Barkle's skill is when it, well, first, if your Vanguard has Blaster in the name, uh, when your Blaster Blade is placed in the same column as this unit, you get to counter charge one. So it's exactly like uh, Revenger Doreen, the grade one, so really cool thing if you didn't know this is a thing you can do if you have two blaster friend barkles in the same column and you pull out your blaster blade and you call it on top of either of them uh, you do get to counter charge two so that is important if you need two face up counter blasts you call these two the same column call one on top and then it procs where since a blaster blade was placed in the same column for both of them you get to counter charge two this has been a thing for like forever, since like 2014. So don't worry, this has been an ongoing thing if you're if you're wondering if this that's how the ruling works. So yes, Blaster Friend Barkle is a really good card, helps you counter charge. It's helpful with Lou because it procs its skill. So that's another good reason to have four copies of the card. Uh, the only thing I would say is just sucks is that it's 7K with 5K shield. So not a great ride, but it's an option. It has Blaster in the name, so you can search it out with uh, Wingle Brave. All right, on to the rest of the grade ones. One copy of the uh, D-Series PG, um, because it can be searched out by Marin, the G-Unit. So D-Series PGs are when they're placed on the Guardian Circle, um, or put into the Guardian Circle. You can choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit till the end of battle. If you have two or more cards in your hand, you discard a card. So if your heal trigger is the last card in your hand, you can G-Guard, go into Marin, Marin skill, search out uh, the dragon, I have the Aegismere, Aegismere dragon, and then since you have one or less card in your hand, you don't have to discard. So that's also nice that you can just kind of search out a PG. Uh, just one copy though, I don't feel like I need to run more than one just for space reasons. So the one, the one PG works fine. And then, Pack Goal Tech. Uh, Pack Goal skill is very simple. It's on place, Soul Blast 2, Counter Charge 2. Um, I would say that because you want to go really hard when you're doing your Floral Paladin turn, having face up damage is really important as much as you can. So having Pack Goal there is just like a nice tech and it's searchable by LaRouche since it is a high beast. It's a helpful card. You can even just kind of throw it down you know, anytime during the game you have face down damage, boom, you got counter charge. You soul charge a lot, basically, with MLB since you're moving things from the board to the soul, so that's nice. Lou also sends itself to the soul, so you have ways of doing that. So there's a decent amount of soul, and since you're only going to do the skill once, it's not terrible. So, yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's really just there for the counter charge, it's searchable etc. It's just a one of Nice little tech. So that's it for grade ones. We're actually now on to the triggers. We'll start off with the good stuff. The over trigger. I was running um, the one that came in the D-series trial decks, the Spiritual King 
I forget its name. <laughs> the one that gives two things 100 million power. But I decided to go with this one just for the obvious reason that if you do pull off the over trigger during your uh, drive checks, you can give your rear guards the ability to perform drive checks. So if you pull it off, you, now that blaster blade that's sitting on the rear guard circle, probably the one with the 100 million power, now every time the blaster blade swings, where's blaster blade? There he is. So now every time your blaster blade swings, it gets a drive check. So now that gives you more opportunities to get crits. It's filling your hand. Uh, after Floral Paladin's skill goes off, it restands, and you can swing again with another 100 mil and a drive check, so on. So it is nice if you do pull it off. You do have a higher chance to pull it off since you have G units that give you quad drive. So there is that. Um, but other than that, it does seem really nice just to be able to, you know, get multiple drive checks. I will say the only thing is if it is late game and you get this off, it does suck if you end up decking out <laughs> to a certain point. But other than that, if you do pull it off early game, it is nice to just kind of drive check, drive check, drive check. So that's why we're running the uh, the Armata Noah for our over trigger. So obviously no Ultima. <laughs> And the rest of our Sentinels, which is our three draw PGs. So now we have all four Sentinels, the grade one and these. Draw PGs are good. It's a trigger and a Sentinel. Kind of speaks for itself. So draws are good. Damage checking draws feels great. On to the crits. Four copies of Floral Paladin Flogel. This is part of your win condition. What it does is at the end of the battle that your Blaster Blade attacks, you counter blast one put this back into your deck you shuffle and you stand that blaster blade so pretty self-explanatory the whole goal is to basically like get a whole back row of these have three three face up damage and just kind of restand that blaster blade repetitively um it does suck that it's a 5k trigger with only 10k shield but we're really doing it for the skill like we we all know um more crits because crits win games it's the stride fodder crits so i kind of you know obviously if it's in your hand when next time you pay cost for stride this counts as a grade three so if for whatever reason you don't have alfred early's in hand and or other mlb's you you're covered you got you got your stride crits uh they're better than the ones that are shoved to soul give your van 10k even though it does fill your soul this is more consistent i would say but i feel like either one works if you feel like you would rather do like two and two the other one is a high beast, so it's searchable Larouche. Don't know why you'd want to search out that trigger, but you can. Um, just to fill your soul, give your van 10k drawing cards, but I feel like this is the better bet because consistent striding. And lastly is our last heal. Um, if you're well into the past 18 minutes of this video, you may remember we were running three copies of the uh, Innocent Ray Dragon, so our fourth and final heal is our Remedy Angel. I like Remedy Angel even though it's a 5k heal. It has the skill that when you discard it for a uh, G Guardian cost, you can pick two heals from your drop zone, bind them face up, and you can counter charge or soul charge. So I'm doing it for the counter charge. It could be for the soul if I know I need it for LaRouche or, um, uh, not LaRouche, I'm sorry, Livero, or if I need it for pack goal that's an option too i'm just doing it for if i do have it in hand i'm gonna discard it for g guardian cost anyways might as well get a counter charge out of it and i'm probably gonna be using these early games so i will most likely have one and drop early so that's why we do the one up for the remedy angel it does suck when we damage or drive check it but yeah heals heal all right that was the main deck on to the fun stuff g units two copies of crystal luster dragon uh, Crystal Luster Dragon skill is um, uh, you can main phase once per turn, flip any G unit face up, and you copy the skill of your heart. So you're going to copy most likely the skill of Majesty Lord Blaster, so you can suck two things of soul, get two force markers, and then if you have Blaster Dragon and Blaster Blade, it gets a crit, 5k, and a drive. So now you have a crit, quad drive, and a a bunch of power from the force markers and etc so kind of you know obvious what we're doing here the second skill is also really nice it's gb3 um 
if you have three or more grade two or greater, I believe it's grade two or greater. Yes, if you have three or more grade two or greater rear guards, uh, when your opponent would call from hand, they have to call three at a time. So that that's pretty tough if they're going to be, you know, dealing with those blaster blade rear guard swings and they have to block three at a time from their hand. But if it's going to be really big anyways, they're probably going to guard that amount anyways. But it is important if you're going to be poking with something small like like a liver row on a force marker and they swing 20 to van, now they can't just drop a trigger and that's it. Now they have to drop three at a time. So that GB3 can come in clutch sometimes just to reduce your opponent's hand. So next up, I will be going into this guy, which is the new twin sword. It's got a pretty long name, Deny Divine Knight of Time Absolutes saint of twin sword yes of twin absolute not time absolutes my bad got to keep that twin sword in name in there so twin sword skill is when it attacks you cannot blast one choose a face down g unit turn it face up and you search your deck for two grade twos you call them to rear and the second skill continuing that is vanguard circle when your unit is placed from the deck it gets 5k for each face-up card in your G-Zone. So that can be helpful too for your um, LaRouche turn. If you have an Alfred Heart, go into this, you swing, you search out LaRouche and a Blaster Blade, and then LaRouche skill, you can search out two more Floral Paladin Flogals. So it can help, it helps out with the kill turn for sure. It lets you flip anything face-up, so you can do it twice expectedly for the game, so that's why we run two just helps with the kill turn and if you're not comfortable with being on MLB and you need a field or multi-tacking great card so next up uh, we are running Alfred as our backup grade 3 so why not have some anti-lock uh, support we're running two copies of how you pronounce that first word again transmigratory dragon holy squire dragon so holy squire dragon's skill is act once per turn you choose a copy of itself and you turn it face up and you unlock all your rear guards. Then uh, all your rear guards get 2k and then continuing the skill, GB3, this gets 3k for each of your rear guards. It's mostly just for the unlocking, like we're really just trying to make it so that Link Joker doesn't screw us over by locking our board. And then just having the board free to unlock and having our blaster blade back up with its force markers, yada yada yada, so it's just, you know, anti-Link Joker. Mostly it's flip fodder, that's the last thing I'll mention. It, the, you're just gonna, if you know you're not playing against Link Joker, you're gonna use this as your flip fodder for Twin Sword and Crystal Luster. All right, two copies of Deny, Divine Knight King, Alfred Holy Saver. So Alfred Holy Saver is here for two things. One, has Alfred in the name, so if you stride onto this on top of MLB, you're good if you wanna use LaRouche. Secondly, is it can give your rear guard blaster blade twin drive for its first attack. The skill is act, GB2, counter blast one, flip a copy of itself face up, discard a card from your hand, and you choose one of your rear guards with blaster blade in its name, and it gets the it gets 3k in the ability at the end of the battle that it of its first attack against a vanguard, I believe. Or it's just again, yeah, it's just first battle. So after its first battle, uh at its first battle it gets twin drive. So Basically, pull out our blaster blade again. Idea here is obviously you swing, get your triple drive. Hopefully, maybe you get an over trigger. That would be awesome. Hundo mill here. Swing, twin drive from its skill, but it doesn't really count because you stacked it. So you just get the one twin drive. So twin drive, you restand it with floral pout and flogal. It restand from a rear guards effect. So now, if you got the over trigger, you get to do a single drive after it restands. So that's nice, plus it has a hundo mill, but obviously getting five drive checks in a turn is really dope alone in general. So that's what Alfred's there mostly for. So yeah, becomes an Alfred, you can use a LaRouche, give your Vanguard, or give your Rearguard Blaster Blade Twin Drive. Pretty decent finisher. Lastly, we got two more. No, oh, almost <laughs> got ahead of myself there. We got uh, Gansel Daddy, uh, Holy Divine Knight, Gansel Peace Saver. Super simple card. One to attacks, 
you counter charge. Oh, you have to have bla you have to have blaster or Alfred as a heart. Blah blah blah. Counter charge, and then if you have a face up conjure G zone, it gets a crit, and then it also has quad drive. So it gets counter charge, drive plus one, and then if you have face up conjure G zone, it gets a crit. The second skill is also really cool. Uh, continuous G zone during your turn. If this is face up in your G zone, your rear guard blaster blade gets resist. So you don't have to worry about your blaster blade with that hundo mill swinging and then just getting denial griffin or header around. So you're good. You just got to turn this face up either with crystal luster or twin sword, or you can just stride into it for your first stride and then you're good. So it's still a decent one of, I don't really see myself going into this more than once or using flip fodder and then going into another one just because crystal luster basically gives you quad drive as well. So... The one is fine, just as flip fodder. Lastly, Avalon. Uh, we're running Ava just because GB8, counter blast one, one it attacks, you search, basically you search your deck for five cards, you call it, and then every card you call it gets 4K, and then this gets a crit. So another field builder. So if you find yourself racking up to GB8, you can swing, call a whole board so you call all you can call your pack goal your blaster blade your three floor pod and flow goals counter charge two because of pack goal this gets a crit so this has pressure so it's still a really good finisher not the go-to because it's gb8 so it's really late in the game but if you end up hitting on it it can just be your win con so it's nice to have so that's it for g units we're on to g guardians bear with me here two copies of uh, divine Maskell. So Maskell skill is GB1. Uh, when it's placed on guard circle for the cost of G guard, you choose another G guardian, turn it face up, and it gets 10k shield if you have another card in, uh, in your front row. Does it have to be grade 2? Nah, it just has to be a card in your front row. So the other thing is that because Twin Sword gives you power, gives your rear guards power for every face up card in your G zone, that's where Maskell comes in handy. So if you can go into this twice and get like four or five g g guardians face up in your g zone that'll make those twin sword plays a lot better as well so that's why we run two uh, next up two copies of little great sage marin so marin's skill is if you have a alfred or blaster vanguard when this is placed on guard circle for the cost of g guard you soul last one and you search your deck for a grade one or greater card call it and the called unit gets 5k so we talked about using the pg earlier for this cost just so like it's an easy free pg if you have a heal in your hand um, but if you want to use it the second time since we are running two i usually do it with wingle brave because then it just becomes another 15k shield now you have around a 43 or in mob's case a 48k defense just for the cost of a g guard so that's really nice so yeah we just run two little great sage marin then we run one copy of great uh, great flash assault assault skill is when it's placed on guard for g guard counter blast one the this gets 5k shield for each of your rear guards so if you have a full board and you just need another 15 or 20k you can just pay that with a counter blast but for the most part you're going to use it for his flip fodder for maskell but you know it's there, it's nice if you want to use it. And lastly, we have Dismal. Dismal is really there for if your opponent wants to damage deny you and they want to swing at your blaster blade that you still have on the board, you can just say no, nah, Dismal, and then they have to swing at your vanguard, basically, or your other rear guard, but then you don't really care about that other one, you just want to protect your blaster blade. So that's why we have Dismal. Um, and then it's also flip fodder if you really want to for a mask goal. So that was it. That was the whole deck profile for Majesty Lord Blaster Premium. This deck seems really fun. I love being able to use Crystal Luster on top of MLB. And I also really like Twin Sword being able to let you search out uh, your grade twos and search out your combo pieces. So this is overall a really, really fun deck to play. Um, I would say if you're new to premium, and you want to pick up a premium deck and this sounds like fun, here's my advice to you. First thing is just pick up the Majesty Lord Blaster deck that, um, that like the little legend deck that they sell for this. 
it comes with pretty much everything your pgs your blaster blades your triggers like you could start out with that and then after that you can just add your g zone so if you want to pick up get two crystal lusters it's probably like the only most expensive card you're gonna have to pick up uh pick up your g your g guardians mask gold just got reprinted so they should be easy to find uh little great sage marins are also reprints these should be easy to find as well and after that i would just say it's mostly trial deck stuff so you can get stuff from the alt mile trial deck um your alfred earlies are from a trial deck lou got reprinted recently in revival collection this got printed in revival collection so a lot of this stuff is pretty easy to find for the most part so i feel like this would be a great deck to get started with if you want to start jumping into premium so hope this helps and i hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile my name is richard and i'll see you on the next video bye